हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू मिंटू मैथ्स क्लासेस टुडे वी आर डूइंग क्लास ट्वेल्व मैथमेटिक्स एन सी आर टी चैप्टर सिक्स दैट इज एप्लीकेशन ऑफ डेरेवेटिव एंड योर क्वेश्चन इज अ वॉटर टैंक हैज द शेप ऑफ एन इन्वर्टेड राइट सर्कुल कून वट डू यू मीन बाय इन्वर्टेड राइट सर्कुल कून फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल राइट सर्कुल कून इज हुज बेस इज पेपेंडिकुलर टू द हाइट एंड इन्वर्टेड मीन्स whose vertex is downwards so this is your inverted right circular cone with its axis vertical this is your axis which is vertical and uh, its vertex lowermost and this is your vertex so let us take oa b so oab is a right angle triangle Now its semi-vertical angle is tan inverse of zero point five. So let us take its semi-vertical axis is alpha. So we are given that alpha is equals to tan inverse of zero point five. Now the water is poured into it at the constant rate of five cubic meter per hour. Now. in this tank you are pouring water at this rate 5 meter cube per hour so the volume of the tank is increasing volume of water in the tank is increasing at this rate so let us take the volume rate of change of volume is 5 meter cube per hour you are given this you have to find the rate at which the level of the water is rising the level of the water means the height of water is rising in this tank at an in at the instant when the depth of the water in the tank is 4 meter so we are supposed to find dh by dt the rate of change of the height of water in the tank when the depth of what depth of water is 4 meters now let us take its base radius is r so to find the the rate of change of h height of the water in the tank we are going to first use this you are given that alpha is equals to tan inverse of 0.5 and tan inverse of 0.5 can be written as 0.5 can be written as half so if we tan inverse can be taken to the left so tan of alpha is equals to half now in this triangle in triangle oab it is an right angle triangle we can find out alpha so this is our base and this is our height in this triangle if we have this triangle and we are given base angle alpha so tan alpha will be r upon h tan alpha will be r upon h so combining these two we will get r upon h is equals to half or we can write radius in terms of h okay now we have we are going to use this we are given the rate of change of volume so let the volume of the tank is 1 by 3 pi r square h this is the formula for the volume of a cone now we are going to replace r by h by 2 so we will get h by 2 square into h and this is pi h cube and this is 12 now we are going to differentiate v v with respect to t so dv by dt because we are given the rate of change of volume so dv by dt is pi by 12 the derivative of h cube is 3h square and the derivative of h in term in with respect to t is dh by dt now we are given dv by dt is 5 meter cube per hour 
so we are going to replace this by 5 4 can be taken to the here and pi h square here so dh by dt is 20 by 4 h square but what we are supposed to find out we have to suppose uh, we have to find dh by dt when h is 4 meters so dh by dt when the height is 4 meters is 5 into 4 upon pi is 22 by 7 and h is 4 so this will be 35 upon 88 and what is the unit height is meter per time is in hours so the water, uh, level of the water is rising at the rate of 35 upon 88 meter per hour